Welcome to Sequoia Ocean Education, a Canadian nonprofit educating youth about Pacific Northwest aquatic ecosystems. Each video, we explore the amazing intertidal life of the Salish Sea. Join us as we try new activities, speak with experts in the field, and learn about what's in our ocean backyard on Southern Vancouver Island. Enjoy today's video! Today we are going to feature four species of sea cucumbers that live in the Salish Sea. The Peristichthys californicus, the Eupentactic quinquesimida, the Cucumeria miniata, and the Solus chitonoides. Sea cucumbers play an important role in marine ecosystems by recycling nutrients, similarly to what earthworms do on land, and they also serve as food for other organisms. Today we are just going to show you the body plan of some sea cucumbers and tell you how they function, what they like to eat, and highlight unique features of each species. Believe it or not, sea cucumbers are part of the same animal group as sea stars and sea urchins. Sea cucumbers belong to phylum echinodermata, meaning spiny skin. The most obvious similarity between sea cucumbers, sea stars, and urchins is their tube feet. On some species of sea cucumber, you can see five distinct rows of tube feet. Observe this sea cucumber, sea urchin, and sea star. On these three organisms, we can see they all have five distinct lines, indicating radial symmetry. Sea cucumbers move around and stick to surfaces using their hundreds of tiny tube feet. Their daily activities include feeling around for food and eating. Sea cucumbers are detritivores, meaning they prefer to eat dead or decaying organic matter. They will also snack on some delicious plankton. Sea cucumbers use feeding tentacles to filter feed and catch small floating particles of algae to sweep into their mouth. Now, let's see some sea cucumbers. First up, we have the California sea cucumber. This is the biggest sea cucumber species in the Pacific Northwest. They can grow up to 50 centimeters and are generally dark red to reddish brown or mottled brown in color. They are covered in cone-shaped papillae of varying sizes, with feeding tentacles at one end. On their underside, they have numerous tube feet. Although they have a spiky appearance, these soft-bodied animals are actually smooth to the touch, and when taken out of water, begin to lose their spiky cucumber shape. You may also get to see a sea cucumber breathe when it is out of water. Sea cucumbers have the rare ability to breathe through their bum. Next we have the white or stiff-footed sea cucumber. This species is much smaller than the California sea cucumber and can only grow to be 8 centimeters long. They also have yellowish, non-retractable tube feet arranged in four longitudinal rows around their bodies. Their bodies are covered with calcareous ossicles, making them stiff-feeling. Another fascinating ability that echinoderms have is the ability to regenerate parts of their body. This can come in handy for creatures like sea cucumbers who are vulnerable to predation. An example is that sea cucumbers are known to eviscerate parts of their guts when threatened. Evisceration is a defensive mechanism to scare or distract predators by ejecting internal organs. Although sea cucumbers can regenerate their guts in a week or so, evisceration is an energy-intensive activity. Sea cucumbers may also undergo evisceration if the water quality is poor and they want to get rid of excess waste or chemicals in their bodies. The white or stiff-footed sea cucumber is known to expel its guts in autumn and grows a new set in the spring. Next up, we have the burrowing sea cucumber. This species varies in color from reddish brown to pinkish brown, with an elongated breakfast sausage shaped body and five rows of tube feet. It also has 10 finely branched bright orange to orange red feeding tentacles extending from its mouth. This sea cucumber gets its name from the fact that it likes to burrow deep down in mud and rocky areas of the low intertidal zone. In the wild, these tentacles are often the only visible part of the animal, as the rest of its body remains hidden in a crevice or under rocks. 
They are most abundant and common in areas with currents. Finally, we have the armored sea cucumber. This species opted for a different exterior than the former soft-bodied sea cucumber species we've seen. Armored sea cucumbers have an oval shape with their mouth located on the top of their body, and they are covered in hard calcareous plates. These animals are often red or orange in color and have branched red-orange feeding tentacles that extend from their mouth. They also have a distinct row of tube feet running longitudinally down the center of their underside, with one or two rows also on either side. A fun fact is armored sea cucumbers have a high concentration of saponins in their tissues that make them toxic to most predators. They are found in shallow water on the western coast of North America. Now check out this clip of an armored sea cucumber feeding. Thank you for watching Sea Cucumbers of the Salish Sea region with Sequoia Ocean Education. Thank you for watching today's video and thank you to all of our donors and supporters for making the work we do possible. If you would like to donate to Sequoia Ocean Education or wish to download free activities and lesson plans, please visit our website at sequoia.org. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. See you next time!